I'm embarrassed to say that the first hour of streaming this game, I was muted, thinking they could hear me. That was very embarrassing. Zenless Zone Zero, or ZZZ, is a free game that I picked up recently. I've had mixed reviews on whether this game was good or whether this game was trash. Rather than listening to other people's opinions about this game, whether it was good or trash, I decided to try it out myself. The game starts you off by choosing between two siblings, the brother or the sister. I chose the brother. He seemed cool, laid back, and chill. The game also introduces you to three more characters, Ambi, Billy, and Nicole. After going through the cutscenes, they send you into this tutorial basically on how to play the game pretty much. And I like the combat. I like the fighting style. The only thing that's a negative, which I've heard a lot of people talk bad about, is the no jump. You're not able to jump on this game. To me, yeah, that could be a little pain, but it's not necessarily a big deal. It's not an issue for me because I play Elden Ring. I do not use that jump button at all. I barely use that jump button. I'm always rolling, dodging, whatever you call it. And they give you that option to dodge on this game. Just, you're not able to jump. If you're a simple guy like me or girl, it don't take a lot for you to be impressed or to enjoy games and have fun. Off rip, I was enjoying myself playing this game. The people you're using to fight are called agents and the person you selected at the beginning of the game, you're like basically controlling the robot that's guiding them to their destinations. You're basically like their tour guide out of a dangerous area. They introduce you into internet, not internet, internet. And it's basically like a Tumblr version of social media. And you basically accept jobs. That's also where you get any type of news that's going on. If you play Tower of Fantasy or Genshin Impact, this is pretty much a similar game. They hit you with a lot of information, a lot of things that you have no idea what's going on or what it's used for. Playing those similar games, you kind of will catch on a lot faster versus someone who's new to this type of game. And the game is very flashy. Uh, I love the aesthetics of the game and the soundtracks are amazing. I'm not going to lie to you. I love the soundtracks, especially once you do like the rolls or the pulls to get agents or what they call W engines. Oh, I got an A and an S. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. On top of the story mode, you got the side missions. You got one part of side mission where you're doing the exploring and fighting. And then there's another part where you just strictly just fight. They they skip the whole exploring part and you, all you're doing is just straight into combat. Overall, this game is fun and I'm enjoying it. It does everything I want it to do. It does what it needs to do. The only thing that might get boring is probably the same type of enemies that we're gonna be facing in this game. I don't know yet. This game overall is fun. I'm enjoying it. I've been seven hours deep into the game and I just downloaded this game like a day ago. I believe anybody should give this game a try. It's free. Uh, I don't know if it's a pay to win type of deal in the future but I believe everyone should give this game a try.